How's it going, everyone? So I picked up this really awesome inductance meter. I was really impressed with it. I've purchased several. I think I have about five of them now. I got one of these. I got this one. Actually, I got two of those ones. I've got this one. And I have another one here somewhere, wherever it went. Oh, right here. This one. Ah, uh -huh. this one here. I like this one. So we're going to uh, do an inductance test and everything on this coil. And what's really nice about this meter um, is that it tells me the resonant frequency of the inductor. So we'll hook it up here. And it'll tell us uh, the inductance is 95 microhenries. And the frequency is 252 1490 Hertz so 252,000 or 252 kilohertz which I thought is very awesome and uh, yeah so that is the coil there that's a, a primary that's in most induction cookers or similar they're not all the same uh, but uh, generally the frequency is, is about 10 times, 10 times, 10 times less. So this is, this is running really, uh, this induction cooker here is running at about 24, 25 kilohertz. They vary slightly between different models that I've seen, but uh, really the fundamental operating frequency of this coil is this. And... Uh, We'll hook up another one real quick for you. One of the coils that I made. I have another design yet as well that I've built. Um, let's grab one here. Oh, I don't, I don't know if we got one that's got some wires stripped. This one. So this is the, uh, the six inch model. Uh, this is made of, of uh, 14 gauge. This is a uh, bifiler pancake coil hooked up as the patent. So we'll do a test on it. And we'll see what the inductance is and the resonant frequency that this device tells me as its fundamental resonant frequency. So we have 25.080 microhenries, and the resonant frequency of this coil is 323 kilohertz. 323.3 kilohertz. So, and that's hooked up that way. We undo this, and we hook it up this way. This coil is a uh, eight-foot coil. You can see that we have 6.5 microhenries, and the resonant frequency of that coil is uh, three, 354.26 uh, uh, kilohertz. So the frequency, the, the fundamental frequencies of these coils is much higher than what they're driving at, and that's not a big deal because these are resonant um, I built larger ones that were resonant at say 2.4 megahertz was a fundamental resonant frequency as tested on an oscilloscope with a signal generator and uh, it was a much larger coil but the thing was is that it was a wide band resonance meaning it was in resonance all the way through from say I, 1,000 hertz to, you know, 2.5 megahertz. So any frequency in there, the coil uh, was resonant. It would produce a sine wave resonance, uh, no problem. So the same is true with these. Um, now, there may be some variance between the bifiler and the monofiller. The one I'm speaking of at 2.5 megahertz was a bifiller coil. And then when I hooked up the earth ground, I did... Uh, test as well and, and uh, again it was uh, resonant uh, through all the bandwidth so um, yeah there you go awesome inductance meter and uh, tells me that the resonant frequency is you know I guess plus or minus <laughs> 30 hertz but uh, pretty accurate anyway so uh, these devices all function the same way um, 
I do recommend this meter out of all the meters I bought, like I said, five of them, this one I find to be just spectacular. All right, guys, have a great day. Ciao.